Hello, my friends. Welcome. Happy second line day. It is a nice second line day to do what you love. And what I love to do is talking about human design with you. So we're live streaming from Iconic Human Design Education at humandesign.live under the events tab, as you can see, if you click on that, you can see that we have all kinds of fun events happening. Lots of classes and courses. Today is a free kickoff. It's your business by design program kickoff and it's educational. So I am going to be teaching today. Please have your my body graph uh, open, your body graph open, your design, at least the basic design. And here's mine. What you can see here is that I am a projector and success is my signature. I am having so much fun teaching human design lately. Now that I've gotten back on track with my health and lots of neat and interesting courses, classes, clinics, it's so much fun. I've also been recently back on the faculty at the BG5 Business Institute and my qualifications there are I can certify you in the information that I'm about to teach today. So as a BG5 Profit Potential coach and certification instructor, the workshop instructor, as well as the first steps, which is the foundation course and the consultant certification, as well as a consultant, I have a lot of experience with the system from the business aspect, not only working as an LYD guide since 2014, but also just avidly taking more and more courses so that I can really know what I'm doing with this profound system and I feel like I'm just scratching the surface. So if you're new to this, don't worry, I'll do my best to help you. Now, um, I do have a few spaces left, just a couple spaces left in the very beginning part of what I'm teaching you today as far as the foundation course, BG5 career and business application of the human design system. So we began last week, the first class is free, you can see it on my YouTube channel. And if you want to continue the journey with us, uh, there are a couple of spaces left, we're closing off registration this weekend. So just to let you know that that is something that I want to do with you if you're interested in human design for business. And it is an important thing that if you're learning from other people out on the interwebs, make sure that they are certified. So under the BG5 Business Institute, if you go to, where are we going? I think it is under here. The Institute Certified Business Consultants. Please to protect yourself to make sure that you are learning the validated, tested, tried and true version of this system. Search for your professional here at BG5 Business Institute if they're teaching business or if you're looking for somebody who's a certified international human design school practitioner, you're going to want to look at ihdsschool.com and that is under professionals. So under IHDS human design professionals, search for their name there and then you'll be able to find the person that you're looking for if you are looking for someone who is certified. So I have a lot of teacher qualifications, analyst qualifications, and all kinds of fun things under my belt. And today we're going to wrap all that in a nice pretty bow and play with it. You guys ready to play with your human design? Okay, I want you to have your human design printed out. Please make sure that you are in a very nice place for you to focus for a while because we're going to take you on a really deep journey into discovering your own profit potential, your material way. All right, let's begin. So in discovering your material way, there are first some really important concepts to know when we talk about you learning how to profit in alignment with your personal fulfillment, your path to personal fulfill fulfillment in this life. So it's really important to master these four keys. Nothing else matters unless you've got these first four keys down. You're going to think this is really silly, but it's really profound. Manifester, you are here to impact. Generator, you are here to respond. Projector, you are here to guide others and reflector. You are here to evaluate or sample and know who is different. So these three elements, three, four elements of who we are as human beings are the first step 
the most important vital keys to mastery. Because if you are not acting as a manifester, impacting, innovating, if you're not a generator, pretending to be, if you're pretending to be a manifester and you're just going out, you know, manifesting willy nilly just because you can, because you're a manifesting generator, you're not waiting for a response, you are going to fill your life with so much frustration, just this deep underlying frustration that per permeates and is pervasive and you can't get away from. If you are a projector and you're constantly initiating with those who are not recognizing you, not inviting you, you're just going to get more and more bitterness to the point where you are so resentful that you feel like you don't, you know, ever the whole world is against you. And the reflector, 1% of the population so, so challenging to be a part of this something greater in alignment when everything is pulling you away from your individual nature. So the challenge is how do you decide? If you're new at this, strategy and authority, as you know, is the key. But how do you do this? In human design, we call it a two-part decision-making process. In BG5, we've just simplified it into your decision-making strategy. So a certified BG5 career and business professional can help you discover how you are here to be satisfied, successful, peaceful, surprised in your work life. That is the primary aim of the BG5 Business Institute is to help improve the bottom line of the people who use this system to make choices, decisions, I should say, that they trust. Okay, so those are the four keys. And there are clear signs of resistance, anger, frustration, bitterness, disappointment. The moment that that signpost shows up in your life, I want you to take a deep breath and pause because that is absolutely showing you when to come back home to your unique, authentic nature, your solution, your decision-making strategy. So that as a manifester, when you inform, you can innovate in peace. So that as a generator, when you respond, you can build a satisfying life out of who you are for yourself first, no one else. It's you first. If you are a projector with that signpost of bitterness, if you wait for recognition and invitation, then you can facilitate success and not any sooner. Can't force, you can't push success to happen. It's a natural occurrence of you being in alignment. And as the evaluator reflector in human design terms, evaluator in BG5, when you're experiencing disappointment because you're constantly initiating, you aren't operating in alignment. Therefore, nothing really feels like it's going well for you. But when you wait, reflect, and discuss for a month, you can be surprised by life's magic because it really is truly magical when you are operating in integrity with who you are in this life. Okay, clear signs of resistance, signpost, stop, come back home. Have I informed those who will be impacted? Have I waited for the response? Have I waited for recognition, invitation, and whatever your authority is, your decision-making strategy, or have I waited for a month? before moving forward. Now at this point, your mind's going, but wait, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't inform, I can't wait for response, I can't wait for recognition invitation, I can't wait. Or you're saying, I don't know how. What are you talking about even? So at this point, it's a good idea to go, <laughs> go back to square one. Living your design as an awakening program if you're into the esoteric realm. BG5 as a no frills, give me the bottom line please element of how you make decisions correctly at the foundational level, that's where to begin here. So we're going to move forward into some more deeper, interesting things for those of you who are like, come on, Lavina, get to the good stuff. Don't worry. There's lots of good stuff in this presentation. First, though, we need to reframe success or, you know, fulfillment. Money is a piece of paper or digits on a screen that we all have a collective agreement about value. Money itself is not the fulfillment that you're looking for. It's not the measurement of fulfillment. In this material world, you actually want the things that money can bring, not the money 
itself. If you wanted the money itself, just piling up the money, collecting it miserly, you know, like the Grinch, <laughs> miserly, like somebody who just wants to see bank account numbers filling up. That would be, you would be a millionaire or a billionaire because that would be your primary aim and goal. All of us have different aims or priorities in life. For me personally, I made human design my priority for the past 10 years. And this is where it brought me to a place where I'm so happy to do what I love to do. So whatever you prioritize is going to be what grows in your life. Fulfillment, if you prioritize fulfillment of your innate, inherent potential, you get what you get and it's all okay. But one of the things that I've done is walked both paths. Human design as an awakening experience, BG5, as a way to improve the bottom line. And I can tell you, I love merging the two. So that's what you get when you get classes with me outside of the BG5 Business Institute, is marrying those two aspects, the material world, BG5, with our authentic purpose, so that we have the fulfillment of whatever it is you're here for, your personal destiny, your transpersonal karma, or your fixed fate, fixed fate. You know, sometimes it's fate that certain people step into your realm. I'm a changer of people's fate, and you never know what you might learn in interacting with particular other people on this path and in this journey. I love being a fate changer. That's my definition of success. That's my true fulfillment. Now, true fulfillment, we could equate that to authentic action, authentic action with integrity to the sovereign nation, nature of your being. I almost said nation. <laughs> I've had a lot of um, study into America and trying to understand what the heck is going on over here right now. So this is about you having a better quality of life, more well-being, and the abundance that is inherent in your individual design. Abundance is dependent on what you value. Do you value value? Do you value health, safety, security, quiet? Or do you a value, you know, having all the latest tech gadgets and all of the opportunities to go traveling or, you know, go to shows and cinema, whatever it is that you happen to really value in your life. Abundance is unique to each of us. Now, in this time, in this day and age, we know that people are seeking abundance through materialism. That's the new era that we're moving into. However, at its core, abundance is strictly a question of spirit. Now, I know you know these names or these words down here, peace, satisfaction, success, surprise. I want you to equate that to spirituality as far as your personal integrity of being, your spirit. The abundance of spirit is found through your signpost, your signature of who you are in this life, okay? Your signature of peace as an innovator, the discovery of your impact when you initiate to get things started in freedom and in peace, that is your aim on the material plane, manifester. For those of you who are generative, the self-discovery of who you are for yourself through satisfying activities that use your energy correctly brings you fulfillment on this material plane. Generator, this is the satisfaction that you're looking for to build our world because you are the great builders of our world. At this moment, I want to pause and say, hey, manifesting generator, you're a generator too. This includes you. And just because you're a manifesting generator does not mean that you can willy-nilly go off and initiate things like the manifester does and be satisfied. Just because you can manifest or act quickly doesn't mean that it's correct for you. You're more likely to run into the brick wall of getting yourself into frustration because you're not waiting for the response to happen. 
because what that response does is it shows you what you can commit to your energy to in a satisfying way. Now, projectors, my friends, my fellow projectors, discovery of who others are in your life and guiding their process along. Get your head out of your own life and focus on others. Projector, it is about others. To bring others to success, that's when you get the sweet success of your own. And then we have the reflectors, discovery of who is different, evaluating how everything is going, the surprise in life. Because you are here to be a barometer for what's going on, because you have such a unique gift of being attuned to, Rob would call you the cosmic judges, attuned to the cosmos through your innate ability to be a reflector of what's going on around you. That's what it is to be delighted in your fulfillment on this plane. It's about the surprise in life, the surprises in life. So each of us has a way of unleashing our core gifts, cultivating our strengths and owning our roles. Every single one of us is utterly unique. You cannot look down at your body graph and compare it to anybody else, even if they have the exact same looking body graph underneath the surface, your genetic differentiation is what makes you utterly unique. And only you can experience and witness your own sovereign truth. It's time to let go of the shackles of the institutions and to come home to your sovereign self, the definition of who you are in this life, the totality of what you are, what you're here to be, the role you're here to play, you as a student in this life, okay? So when you are making decisions with your mind, and all of us have been trained to value thinking and beliefs and knowing, thinking that we have to do something because our mind said so, because we think we are who that I inside of our head says we are. You are conditioned away from your inherent genetic truth when you believe that voice inside your head, that storyline of whatever it is, it says you have to do, must do, should do because of this, that, or the other thing, okay? Your internal mind is talking from the conditioning. In other words, your internal mind is conditioning talking. And that conditioning is for learning about the world out there, out there. You cannot believe what the mind inside of your head says about yourself. And that conditioning in the openness of our design is where we develop wisdom, wisdom about others, wisdom about what's out there. And the wisdom, when we detach from identifying with the voice inside of our head, when we can stop making decisions from a mental plane, now we can develop wisdom that can also be profited from. This is the tricky part. So right here, right now, if you have not been in human design at least for six months and studying, I want you to turn off this recording, please leave because it's gonna confuse the heck out of you if you don't shift your mind slightly, just enough. Because if you start to try to take advantage of this while you're still deeply in the throes of conditioning, it's just gonna screw you up. Ra would say, don't write the script. I don't want you to write the script, okay? This is one of the reasons why in my advanced coursework, I only take now for business by design or business of you being yourself, I only take people who have taken my radical transformations clinics because I need you to be to a certain level of deconditioning. So definitely living your design, BG5 uh, foundations first, then radical transformations, then move on here when you're ready, okay? That's one of the, the biggest pitfalls I've seen happen in my six years of working with this material is people trying to take advantage of the conditioning without being deconditioned first. Okay, there's my warning. Now you do what you like because you are your own authority. <laughs>